Show with David Rose and his orchestra and Red's guest star, Buster Crabb. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, uh, tonight, as you know, the show is about, I don't know if they told you not, the show is about uh, uh, sailors. Of course, you know to the, that tonight's show is about sailors. And it brings back a lot of uh, things that brought on the show. <laughs> Number one is that uh, Robinson Crusoe were on the same kind of an island that he was on. And this was the guy who started the 40-hour week. All of his work was done by Friday. <laughs> You here for fun or revenge? <laughs> hey, but uh, the show has to do with the Navy tonight. Give me a sailor hat, will you? The sailor hat first. Give me the sailor hat. The sailor hat. There was one sailor who walked up to another and he says, Where are you from? He says, I'm from Texas. He says, Yeah, I'm from Texas. He says, Yes, I am. He says, Spell rat. He says, R A T. He says, I told you wasn't from Texas. I meant like rat now. <laughs> this, uh, this sailor says, uh, Pardon me, sir. Uh, Lieutenant, sir, I just uh, dropped a rope overboard. Lieutenant says, just a minute. There's only one rope aboard ship, and that's on the bell. That is the aft deck, and this is the forward deck. Those are not uh, stairs, those are ladders. Now, if you make any more mistakes like this, I'm going to throw you through that little round hole. <laughs> <laughs> they sneak up on you, don't they? <laughs> I, when I was aboard ship, I was aboard the West Point. <laughs> and I remember one time the food that they had. Oh, you take Navy food. I wish you would. <laughs> but they had spaghetti and meatballs, and the guy in front of me must have been a pool shark because he ran off 12 before I got one. <laughs> <laughs> and at night we had bunks. Uh, one and then and another guy below me. I was in the middle. The guy on top talked in his sleep, and the guy beneath me answered him all. <laughs> No, but I was, I was kidding a minute ago about the food. Uh, what I used to like was the hash. <laughs> hash, that's the Navy's version of memories are made of this. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, uh, in in uh, conclusion, I'd like to leave you with a, a little uh, poem. There was a young man named Bill who swallowed an atomic pill. The doctor says cough, and the darn thing went off, and they found his head in Brazil. <laughs> States Navy, manned by the flower of American manhood. Each sailor a perfect cog in a complicated machine. Each man carefully selected and assigned to his job on the basis of his training, intelligence, and ability. <laughs> Snorkel, 
Oh, how many times did we scrub this deck? I don't know. I never learned to count over 2,000. <laughs> you know, every time we do something that old Moose Muldoon don't like, we have to scrub the deck. Yeah. By the way, what didn't he like this time? The way we scrubbed it the last time. <laughs> Let's see. You know I once had a shipmate that drowned while scrubbing a deck? Drowned while scrubbing a deck? How could that be? He was on a submarine. Oh. <laughs> Now hear this, now hear this. Speak of the devil, there's old Muldoon. All hands on deck. <laughs> All hands prepare for lifeboat drill. Oh, no, just when we get the deck cleaned up, they're going to track it up with their dirty feet. Uh, All right, men, stand by. At the sound of the bosun's whistle, drop everything. fun learning to use it again. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's get the life jackets. You go first, Cookie. We're hurrying on, sir. We're getting it ready, sir. All right, boys. Fall in. Yes, sir. Fall in. What? Right. Oh. Yes, sir. Get <laughs> <laughs> These things are getting heavier all the time. Oh, 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 that. Go ahead. Pick that. Now, this is the correct procedure for lowering a lifeboat. Oh. I'm going to tell it to you guys once. I want you to learn every word of it. <laughs> all boat lifelines are secured to the span of the davits, and when all is ready, the grips are tripped and cleared away. Wrapping lines and traveling lizards running on jack stays are used to keep the boat from swaying. Wrapping lines are passed around the boat falls and handled from the deck. <laughs> traveling lizards are kept in hand in the boat after a turn has been taken around the thwart. The lizards must never be secured in the boat. Are there any questions? <laughs> yes, sir. Could I take my Cadillac and quit while I'm ahead? <laughs> now, hear this. Now, hear this. Chief Petty Officer Muldoon, report to the captain's cabin immediately. All right, you men. Fall out. And you, too. Yes. I want you to practice lifeboat drill until you know it backwards and forwards. You get it? Yes. Backwards and forwards. <laughs> Let's divide up the job. You learn it forwards and I'll learn it backwards. Okay. okay. Come on. Right. <laughs> so, after eight months at sea, we finally got our orders to head for our home port. I'm very happy, sir. I'm sure the men will be happy, too. It's been a long trip, Muldoon, but I'm proud of our ship and proud of our men. They're a well-trained, well-disciplined crew. Hey, if that's the falls, that's the frapping line, and that's the lizard, what's this? Uh, Search me. Hey, well, you know that old Navy regulation. If you don't know what something is, you know what to do. Yeah. Either eat it, paint it, or throw it overboard. <laughs> well, come on, let's get rid of it. Give me the knife. We'll get rid of it. All right. Uh, there she goes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey. Where's Cookie and Snorkel? Last time I saw them, they were in that lifeboat. <laughs> oh, no, overboard. Eight months at sea, ordered to go home. Now we've got to turn the ship around and go look for those idiots. But there's a thousand islands out there. How in the world are we going to find them? If we're lucky, we won't. <laughs>
closer than we thought. I'm sure glad you was with me. That nose came in handy as a sail. Hey, you know what? what? Last year I won a yacht race. I didn't even have a boat. Dry land. At least we got dry land. Yeah, I know you're glad, Cookie, but what are you kissing the ground for? I'm not kissing. I'm eating. I'm hungry. Oh, of course. <laughs> what are you eating? I don't know. It's not very good, whatever it is. Everybody's <laughs> bitten to it. You woodpecker. Come on, Cookie. Don't get panicky. I'm not panicky. You know what? Every lifeboat has a survival manual that tells you exactly what to do when you're shipwrecked. Oh? There it is. Let's see now. Food, 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 food. What happened to page 46? I ate it. <laughs> it had to do with pork chops, and I couldn't resist it. <laughs> we got to do something, or we'll starve to death. Yeah. Hey, according to the manual, every lifeboat has an emergency ration kit that'll keep us alive for two weeks. You... How about that? Yes, it was delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. You know you're a good reader? Yeah. Try a fat oh. <laughs> Fine. Here we are, cast away on a desert island. So no fine. food, no water. Water. That's what I need. Water! Take my my no. throat. My throat is perched. No, take your throat. Come. Come? Yeah. It says right here. <laughs> According to the book, your only chance of survival is to stay absolutely calm. <laughs> That's much better, pal. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? You got hit in the head by a coconut. Wow, please. Boy. Whew. Yeah, I think I found it. No, that's the lump. <laughs> Over here's the coconut. Oh. You sure? Hey, coconut milk. We can get milk out of coconuts. You can? Yeah. What do you pull? Yeah. <laughs> a sharp seashell. We use it for a knife and we can cut it open. Yeah, we can do that. Go get one. <laughs> I'll go get a t-shirt. Wait a minute. Yeah. Supposing there's some wild animals here. Oh, are you nuts? No. Oh. Says right here in the manual, there are no wild animals on these islands. Oh, no wild animals. No wild animals. Okay, in a case like that, I'll go find some food. Right. We'll get... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, so close. Over there. Hey, 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 right, hey, over there. Hey, right. Hey. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> stockade finish before the monster comes back here again. Yeah, every time I think of him, cold chills run up my spine. You mean up and down your spine? No, they're too scared to run down. <laughs> hey, I wonder what kind of a monster had a foot this big. Must have been a prehistoric dinosaur or something. Are you kidding? What would she be doing on an island like this? <laughs> oh, dinosaur! Oh. <laughs> He is, but I'll tell you one thing, he'll never get out from in there. These walls are as strong as iron. Look at that, boy. <laughs> oh, I forgot to tell you, I used to work for a guy that built houses for veterans. <laughs> hey, Cookie, what are we going to do if that monster shows up here again? Well, if you're brave, you'll stay here and fight. But if you're yellow, you can run with me. <laughs> wait a minute, wait. Hey, there's something over there. What was that? Oh, it's over this way. Oh. There. There it is. Do you see what I see? Yeah, I sure do. <laughs> okay. Look, I'll give you a shove and you can drag me along. Okay. <laughs> well, we can't shoot this thing. Light's no good. No, I guess we'll have to shoot it from the other side of the island. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you mean to tell me we're gonna have to walk way over there? Uh-huh. Man, my paws are killing me. Don't blame me. You want to get in the show business. What about us, Mr. Rexford? Oh, we'll go through with you for a while. Okay, we'll wait over here. Come on, Sam. Right. 
Carol, do you think oh, we'll see. ever finish this picture? Oh, I don't know, but it's 70 bucks a day. Who cares? Yeah, but it's so boring around here. Nothing ever happens. It's gone. Yeah. I bet that girl is 28 feet tall. <laughs> I well, save some for me. <laughs> hey, I smell perfume. Perfume? Yeah. Maybe it was a girl gorilla. <laughs> Where would a girl gorilla get perfume? From a boy gorilla on her birthday? <laughs> <laughs> Cookie, yeah. I know we're on a desert island and there ain't nobody here but us. <laughs> but I see two human dames. <laughs> Cookie, you're a goner. You're born your cork. You're a goner. You're a goner. <laughs> I'm a goner, too. <laughs> but what a lovely way to go! Come on, Cookie. Wait. Those dames are for real. Yeah? They're native girls. They think you're real native girls. Well, oogle, oogle, oogle. Let me handle this. Okay, here. here they come. Here they come. Let me handle it. Let me handle it. Mm. Oh, um, how? Mm. Me, Ray Mar. Of jungle, him, Rin, Tonto. <laughs> Wiggle waggle woo. Look, Ooga Wagga, we play our cards right, we may not have to play cards. <laughs> I just had a horrible thought. What? Suppose somebody tries to rescue us. Now. <laughs> gotta work fast. Me teach girls, girls, to speak English? Yeah? Okay? Okay. Okay. Now, <clears throat> the first word. Yes. <laughs> yes, that means yes. <laughs> that means no. What's your language? <laughs> Teach him a thing like that before. <laughs> All a girl's got to do to get along with me is just to know how to say yes. That's all. Bungo, bungo, bungo. Here goes my bungo. <laughs> what are you going to do? Well, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll speak to her in her international language. That's what I'll do. <laughs> What happened? She answered me in the internet. <laughs> did something go wrong? You bet your life, Buster, you did something wrong. You've got a lot of nerve going around kissing girls you've never been introduced to. Boy, did they learn English fast. <laughs> Come on, girls, you're ready for us. You think they speak English fast? Get a load of that guy. <laughs> Who's those monkeys? Look who's talking. <laughs> What's going on here anyhow, buddy? I'm making a moving picture. Come on, girls. We're ready to shoot the scene. Come on. How do you like that? <laughs> now she tells me. <laughs> How do you like that? They're making a movie on this island. Hey, that means we ain't marooned anymore. No, we ain't marooned. They'll be back. We'd better tell them that we're shipwrecked, see? Then they'll come and rescue us. We'll be heroes. We'll be heroes. We'll be in newsreel for those two girls who were just here. We'll have our names in headlines. We'll be famous. You'll be famous. Yeah. You'll be the first sailors to spend 95 years in the brig. Muldoon! <laughs> you realize what you two have done? What? You've taken the ship 2,000 miles off course. You've sacrificed two weeks' vacation in San Francisco for the men, including the captain. You've abandoned ship without permission. You've damaged government property, and you're you're charged with desertion. My boy, now, you're in trouble. <laughs> now come along with me. Well, uh, wait just a minute, Muldoon. Uh, we've got to pack our belongings. Yeah. What belongings? We haven't got any belongings. Oh, oh good. those belongings! Yeah. <laughs> All right, now you snap into it. Okay. I'll wait for you down at the beach. Okay. 
<laughs> I got an idea. We'll have Muldoon eaten out of the palms of our hand. <laughs> Come on, I'll tell you what we're going to do. <laughs> now, you finish getting into this thing, Snorkel. Okay. Now, you remember all your instructions? Yeah. When I see you and Muldoon together, I jump on Muldoon. Right. He gets real scared, but you don't. Right. You fight me off, save his life, and we live happily ever after. Right. Okay. Okay. Get in the monkey school. Yeah. There we are. Hey, hey, how, how do I look? <laughs> Never look better in your life. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget now. You wait here, and I'll go scare up uh, Muldoon. Okay. And then you scare him. Okay. <laughs> Boy, boy, boy. Boy, you no know, one of these gorillas are always scratching themselves. This stuff is itchy. <laughs> uh, it is. <laughs> and check. Uh, <laughs> now you get out of that monkey suit. Yes. Snorkel. Yeah. What is all this? Well, well, sir, I, uh, I. Oh. Yes, sir, I, uh. Well, you see, when I saw you and Cookie together, I was supposed to jump on you, sir, and he was supposed to save your life, and you were supposed to love us forever and ever and after that, but it ain't working out too well, is it? <laughs> so that's a little scheme, is it? <coughs> well, we've got a little surprise for Cookie. Look, you get out of that suit, I'm going to get in it. But. Snorkel! Hey, Snorkel! <laughs> Where's the hut? So let's see. I gotta figure this out. First, I start out to find Muldoon. Now I go down to the beach, turn to the right, walk about a half a mile, turn to the left, Pass those guys making the movies. Come back here again. Snorkel should be here. <laughs> Snorkel, where have you been? What's the matter with you anyhow? Where's Muldoon? You seen him? Be the real gorilla. <laughs> don't just stand there, man. Grab a club and let's finish him off. Oh, but, sir, you don't understand. You don't understand, sir. You grab a club. Is this an order? It's an order. That's all I got to hear. Also in tonight's cast were Jamil Farah, James Burke, Gil Stewart, Gene Porter, Ray Kellogg, George Barrows, Donna Stone, Jack Boyle, and Jimmy Cross. Now stay tuned for the Gary Moore Show, which follows immediately on most of these stations. <laughs>